Hey everyone, my name is Steve Horseman with Springfield Armory. I'm gonna show you today is how to field strip and clean our 1911s. First thing you're gonna do, obviously, is check to make sure the gun is empty. Okay, I'm gonna lock the slide to the rear. I'm gonna physically and visually check to make sure there's no ammunition, no magazine in the gun. So from there, what I'm gonna do, slides locked back, I'm gonna take my Allen wrench. This is supplied with the 1911s that have the two-piece guide rod. I'm gonna take the front half of the guide rod off. It's actually more like the front three quarters of the guide rod. Take the guide rod out, set it aside. And from there, the first thing I'm gonna do is I wanna let the slide go forward, okay? What I want to do is I want to take my bushing out. So from here, there's spring pressure under here, okay, from the recoil spring. So the first thing I do, place the, the pistol on a solid surface. Um, I know our manual says place it on your knee. That works too. What I, if I don't have a bushing wrench, what I'll do is you can use your thumb. I'll use the base of a magazine. Um, and what I'll do is I'll push down on the recoil spring cap plug, okay, and I'll rotate the bushing clockwise to about the nine o'clock position. So that'll half moon cut us in like in the nine o'clock position. I'll hold my finger over that spring cap and you'll notice it's gonna come right out with my recoil spring, okay? So from there, I can take my bushing out now if I want to, I rotate it back to about the four o'clock position and then I'm able to pull the bushing right out, okay? There's a little notch that corresponds with the groove inside the slide that locks the bushing into the slide. From there, I pull the gun back, there's no spring tension. I get it to that half moon cutout for my Slide stop, I, play, I push it over from this side with my finger, okay, and then I'm able to grasp it, pull it all the way out, set it to the side, and then I'm able to push the slide, the barrel assembly, right off the gun, okay? And then from there, I'll take the back part of that recoil spring out, push the link down, and pull the barrel out. Just like that. That is it, guys. That gun is field stripped. Cleaning. Typically what I will do is I will just use rags, paper towels, you know, and what I'll do is I'll just wipe off any dirt, grime. You might need to do a toothbrush on your feed ramp here, back in here. I never and would never recommend using a stainless steel type toothbrush on any firearm, okay? Um, the only thing I would say is if you wanted to use a brass or a bronze toothbrush for cleaning the breech face. That's about the only thing I would use a brass brush for, but I avoid stainless steel brushes of any kind. Okay, that's just my recommendation. Um, from here, like I said, I'm gonna wipe off any grease, oil, dirt, okay, with my rags. One of the things I like to do for my slide rails is I'll use Q-tips as well. Um, I just buy the cheapest ones I can get at, at whatever store you go to. Um, and then from there, um, I'll use patches. I'll take a patch, for example, and I will use the, this is what we call an M16 brush. For those of you, any of you that were in the military, you'll notice that's what we always called these things. And I love them because it's got this small end here and it fits really nicely into those frame rails. And I'll clean any grime and grease out of there just like that, okay? If you don't have, if you don't have something like that, Q-tips work just as well. And I'll do both sides just like that. I'll get that, that grease and oil off of it. Any dirt that I can see, okay? Once I'm satisfied, you'll see this is a, pretty clean gun and it's got a little bit of dirt coming off of it. So, um, and like I said, I'll wipe off anything else. You can use that, that patch or you can use a rag, a toothbrush, I'm sorry, a uh, paper towel, any of that stuff's fine to get all that stuff off of there. And what's nice about the stainless guns is that you can actually see the dirt come off of it. So it's pretty, pretty helpful that way. Um, wipe everything off and the frame's basically done. I'll set that aside. Um, I'll clean the recoil spring, just wipe off any grease that you might have. Same thing with all the other small parts. I just wipe them off with a, a rag. Any oil that you can see, any grime you can see, good little places for toothbrushes and uh, Q-tips, things like that, okay? When it comes to the barrel, just I take it and I'll wipe off any external grease or grime, all right? And if you have a vise, it makes it real simple, but you don't necessarily need one. And first thing I'll do is I'll take a brush. And this one's got a nylon brush, which work okay. I will actually use bronze brushes for this because our barrels are stainless steel and they're not gonna have any problems with the bronze brush because the bronze brushes are those copper brushes. The actual brush is softer than the stainless steel. So you can't hurt them using that. But again, I avoid stainless steel brushes of any kind. First thing I'm gonna do is I can hold onto the, the barrel, run that brush through there four, five, six times. That's gonna loosen up any, any fouling that's inside the gun or inside the barrel. From there, I will take the brush off, put a patch puller or a jag. I personally like jags better because they make the, the, the seal of the patch 
quite a bit tighter. And then from there, I'll just use some solvent. Take your solvent um, wet patch, run that through there four or five times, and you'll see right there that a bunch of stuff is coming off this gun, okay? Off the barrel, you'll see how dirty it is. Okay, from there, I'll grab another patch, put it on my jag, patch puller, whatever you wanna call it, and then I'll run a clean brush, or a clean patch through there four or five times, and I'll repeat this process until the patch comes out clean. Now, there's a lot of people that still like to use um, lead bullets in their, uh, in their guns. Sometimes you'll get some lead fouling in there, and that time, typically, you will have to be a little bit more aggressive with whatever brush you're using um, and, and repeat that process to get that lead out. But if you're shooting um, full metal jacket ammo, a lot of times, the only thing you're getting out of there is, is the um, unburnt powder and any kind of fouling that might be in there. Okay, um, so from there, about the only thing left that I have to clean is the slide. When I'm cleaning the slide, what I do is, this is a place where I really do like to use Q-tips. I can get inside these cracks and crevices inside the rails. So for example, I'll, I'll grab a Q-tip and I'll wipe off the back end area. You'll notice you'll have some uh, lube and some fouling in back in there. Your disconnector notch, I'll, I'll clean that out. Where the hood, the hood of the slide, where the barrel locks up, clean those little rails out with the Q-tips. The Q-tip just makes it really easy. Wipe off any fouling I can see with the Q-tip. I'll also run the Q-tip down through the slide rail, but the best thing for the slide rail is, is doing it this way. Kind of a reverse process of what you were doing with the, the frame, but it's the same deal. You're getting in that groove, and that's what I like this little M16 brush for, is I can get that patch on there, and I can use that nylon brush, Now I'm not scratching anything, and I use the, the patch to collect anything, okay? Because all the brush is doing is just kind of moving the stuff around. The patch will actually absorb and take the material off, okay? And like I said, I mentioned those products, those gun blast, gun scrubber, whatever the case may be, that's really good at getting those, those nooks and crannies cleaned really well, okay? So from there, I've done the, the, the slide rails. Next thing I wanna address is the breech face. If look at how much fouling you got on there and just clean it this way. So any debris is gonna fall down and won't fall into that firing pin channel, okay? Um, and then from there, basically, I'll take the uh, Q-tip, just get off any other fouling I might see. Again, because the brush doesn't have a tendency to take it off, it just kind of has a tendency to really kind of loosen it up and then using Q-tips and rags and patches, just clean everything off. And from there, I'm gonna reassemble the gun. I'll start a bead of, of lube on just the back half of the slide rails and I'll, I'll explain why here in a minute, okay? I'll usually put a little, little bead of oil on those, the, um, the hood part of the um, slide and that's it for the slide, okay? Don't need a whole bunch. Um, like I said, I put a couple drops on that, that uh, short part of the recoil spring. I'll also put a little couple drops on the slide stop, the, the bar end of the slide stop, okay? So from here, I'll take my barrel and you can either do it when it's in the gun or you can do it um, right here, okay? So I'll take a little bit of, put a little lube right around that part that moves back and forth and locks up into the bushing, which is that bushing right there, okay? And that's really all I need. I'll go ahead and I'll put the barrel in, put your link down, put the barrel back in from the front, push it all the way back, and it'll, you'll feel it drop into those two little notches, those corresponding notches on the, for the barrel hood and the slide hood, okay? So from there, I'll grab my frame, and from here, what I'll do is I'll put a bead of oil just on the recessed part. I don't need to put any on the, the higher part of that frame rail um, because that's the part that's sliding back and forth within the slide. I've already lubed that part of it. And again, you don't wanna put too much oil in these guns, okay? A little bit goes a long way, okay? I personally will put a drop on my disconnector because it slides back and forth on the bottom of the slide. And I actually put a little bead right there. I don't know if it makes that much of a difference, but I've always done it. So from there, I'll take my bushing, and I will actually put a bead of oil around the front end of the bushing, just like that. And the reason I do that, because that's where the barrel is sliding back and forth inside the bushing, okay? Take my notch and put it straight up. I'll slide it in, turn it back to that nine o'clock position, then put your recoil spring in and let it match up with your back half of the guide rod, just like that. And then from there, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this assembly back onto the frame just like this, okay? Now, from there, I'm gonna take my spring plug, push it down on the, on the uh, spring, okay? And then I'll put the slide and the frame on the hard surface or on your knee, push it down, controlling it all the way, and then put turn your bushing 
to where it catches the spring plug. And then from there, I can take and push that thing down with my thumb and turn my bushing. The top half of the gun's almost done. So from there, I have spring tension now. I'll pull the slide back ever so slight, lining up that link with the hole in the frame, put my slide stop back in it, and then I'll pull with my hand like I showed you before to where that half moon cutout is lined up with that little square hole, push my slide stop back into place, and the gun is 99% of the way back together. Now, if you have a, a single piece GI guide rod, you're done, okay? If you have the two piece guide rod, which like comes on the loaded or a TRP or something like that, what I do there is I'll lock the slide to the rear, okay, and I'll take the long portion of the guide rod, insert it in that hole that's in that spring plug, okay? And I'll thread it back on. Do it with my hand, and then I'll take my little Allen wrench, take the Allen wrench, and I'll just make sure that thing's nice and tight. The gun is back together. Now you'll notice that there's a little bit of excessive oil, got it on my hands, got it on the gun. Um, just take one of your rags, you can wipe off any excess oil, and from there, guys, you're basically done. Um, one other thing that I personally will do is, is with the barrel hood, since it does move back and forth inside the slide, I'll take and I'll put a little bit of oil just like that, and I call it quits, and I'm all done. So there you have it. We field stripped, cleaned, lubricated, and assembled a 1911 pistol. To find out more information about your particular 1911, take a look at your owner's manual, and you can also find out information at springfield-armory.com.